Hi, this is Manuel Smith, and um, I'm a singer-songwriter, worship leader, and one of the things that's been on my heart, especially in this in this time um, of where so much is going on in the world, and especially with what happened um, with George Floyd, um, it brings in so much memories and so much awareness um, to Black Lives Matter, and you know a lot of the issues that haven't been addressed for such a while um, in terms of racism. Um, it just brought back memories um, for me because um, I remember when I um, came over from Ghana and, you know, I, I grew up in Ghana, so I didn't really at that time really know what racism was and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I remember coming over to the UK and then going to secondary school and I went to a secondary school in uh, a predominantly Asian area. Um, so most of the students that was in my school, in my secondary school, were Asians, um, and just had a few white people and a few black black people. Um, so I remember there was one particular time that you know, it was me and my other black friend that we were walking with one girl. She was Asian, so we were walking. It was after school, and we were you know just playing about, just speak, talking, just having fun really. And then all of a sudden, there was some guys that were in a car park opposite us and they began to shout something um to the girl because they were speaking in their language so they were shouting something over to her and then she was um shouting back at them um so we were you know wondering what's going on so we we're like what's happening like is there is there an issue is there a problem and then she was you know she literally just explained to us and she said those guys are basically shouting at her because they're like why are you walking with those niggas why are you walking with those niggas why are you walking with those black boys and um so she was basically just defending us to them and that kind of stuff and for me i was i think that's when it really hit home that wow um there's an issue with you walking with someone of my skin color and um it was it was really like wow i'd never you know until that time i'd never you know really i mean there were little undertones here and there but i didn't really and pay attention to it but to actually you know have an argument going on between the girl and these other asian boys because she was walking with two black boys um it was really it really hit home that time and you know for me it was just like we are you are a minority in this country as well so why are you even um, being racist to someone that's black and all that kind of stuff so that was honestly for me my first time really experiencing racism and it was it was quite shocking it was i was like i mean it, it really made me upset but i'm just glad in that time i didn't react physically um to try and start a fight or anything we just you know she was like you know you guys just leave it just 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 leave it and just go um because they're expecting a fight and all that kind of stuff and i i believe the next time i really experienced it was um i remember this clearly i was walking in peckham one one this was just a few years back I was just walking down the sidewalk um, on the path and a car just drove past and as it drove past, um, this white guy just screamed out of the passenger side, yo, monkey. And like, literally, like it happened so quick and so fast that I, I was like, wait, hold on a second. Did I just hear what I just heard? And honestly, like for me, it was just like, wow, like there are some people who are really so prejudiced and so bigoted towards my skin color and everything. So for me, this whole um, George Floyd thing and this whole Black Lives Matter movement um, has really brought back certain memories. And I really pray, um, you know, as someone of faith, someone um, who believes in Jesus, believes in, in Christianity, and I'm a Christian myself, it's, it's, it's really tough to see how you're supposed to kind of react and supposed to act in these times. But I really pray that, you know, we'll be able to get over this issue and be able to move forward and unite whatever race or whatever color that we belong to thank you